between our obsession with mobile electronics and grand popularity of electrical vehicles, lithium iron battery demand is growing at an astonishing rate. Most of that demand is being driven by automotive cells, which consume 60% of lithium iron batteries. It's not hard to imagine how far that's going to go in time, which raises the biggest question: What happens to those batteries when they die? As we can see, it brings a severe damage due to its unmanned recycling treatment, which causes environmental pollution and unhealthy effects to people. So, look at these two pictures of children in different destiny. Some enjoy the use of graphite in batteries; some suffers from the pollution of it. Unlike cancel metal reusing circumstances, which has achieved high efficiency of regeneration into battery renewable metal, graphite, the highest proportion of single components in battery, has been ignored. In a traditional processing method, the waste graphite has been incinerated directly into ash and emits a large amount of carbon dioxide, which is 1,331,600 tons of carbon dioxide in 2030 as forecasting. Equals to the amount of South Africa's gas emission or Japan's coal emission. The amount is so large that it would take 2,000s of Amazon rainforests to absorb it, causing the effects of greenhouse gases. Well, compared with traditional management, the industry is now in high demand of a green low carbon method. We have found a sustainable green way, the mechanochemical method to realize the transformation from spent graphite into graphenite nanomaterials, which had excellent properties in several domains like thermal conductivity, electrical conductivity, compression resistance, and so on. Thus, the application scenarios can be widened into multiple domains: as regeneration into energy storage system, used in solar cell, cooling materials, pressure sensor, and so on. The main technique of our project. Bone mining can effectively make graphite into thinner materials through its sharing and impacting force. Specific steel ball and different kinds of addition agents, we can produce various types of graphite-like nanomaterials under diverse machine parameters. Characterization of atomic force microscope. Our product has a height of 2.8 nanometers, and graphite with fewer than five layers has appeared. This way, we can produce materials with strong application properties in environmental-friendly way. In terms of material application, the heat dissipation capacity, electrochemical application, absorbent utilization, compared with the same carbon-based materials, our products show an excellent properties. Our recycled product carry higher properties in key industrial application than even new materials. Here, the carbon footprint performance. Our method highly reduces the use of materials and energy consumption, also enhances the performance of recycled materials, and improves the utilization rate of resources. Such a reduction in carbon emission can have a huge economic effect in carbon markets. This will make waste of graphite recycling no longer a burden on the environment and business, but a win-win for them both. To sum up. We've changed the industry chain, which directly leads to the emission of carbon dioxide into a circle one, using our easy, environmental-friendly mechanochemical method to get a low-cost, high-profit, high-quality product and reuse it in various applications. Our method gives this spent graphite a second life and effectively reduces the carbon dioxide emission, protecting both human and nature's health. Guided by policies such as European Battery Recycling Regulation and Carbon Neutrality, we aim to achieve materials recycling and generate substantial returns. Additionally, we hope to contribute to tackling the upcoming wave of retailers and batteries by investing in and establishing startups that leverage our advanced technology. We can effectively solve the current pollution challenge of battery recycling.